Hey you guys, this is the coldest it's ever been on my homestead since I've been homesteading. So wow, as you can see, we got dumped with snow, which is really fun, but it's gonna be zero degrees tonight. So that is hard on a Texas homestead because our homestead just isn't set up for that. Let me show you how everybody's doing. They're the babies. They're the ones I'm most worried about. As you can see, we have the red heat bulb on there. So I'm not a huge fan of heat bulbs because they cause fires, but in this case, it's definitely essential for them to get through the night. So let's check on their water. It is frozen again. I have changed it three times today. All right, babies, I'll be back. Make sure everybody has fresh food. Keep those calories in so you can stay warm. Okay, you guys, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to do because my camera keeps freezing up. So I'm gonna try to check on the big girls and then let's check on the rabbits. Now let's check on the big girls. My egg lane divas. This is kind of our solution to our Texas coop, which is really built for ventilation, not for zero degree temperature. All right, you guys, I'm done with the evening chores. Everybody's got fresh water and food, and I'm hoping that we everyone makes it through the night. A lot of my friends have lost power already, so we're hoping we don't lose power tonight. We have a plan to take the chicks inside quickly if we lose power. They're the heroes. They've been going out a lot, a lot. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, I live cat corner to a fire station, so they have definitely been busy, our heroes, taking care of people. <laughs> All right, good night, you guys. Hey, you guys. Mr. Miller has off another day, yay! Because of rolling power outages, so that's not great, but oh well, we'll take it. I want to tell you guys, I chickened out last night. I went to go get my rabbits. I couldn't stand it, zero degree temperatures. I thought they would make it, but better safe than sorry. So they're a little cramped, but at least they're alive. <laughs> And well, all right, we're gonna go out in the homestead. There is something so beautiful and quiet about it, the snow. <sighs> but I don't know how you northerners do it. I truly don't. <laughs> so we made another morning. Everyone's still alive and doing good, the animals. So it's on freezing water crocs and more food. Thank goodness we still have power, a lot of people don't. So we have a few people come to stay with us until they get power back, so that's good. I think we have power because we're on the same grid as the fire station, so that's, that's nice. All right, let's get these animals taken care of. The homestead dog loves the snow. You like that snow? <laughs> the chicks are doing great. We made it. <laughs> the worst is over. Yes. Okay, let's see how the chickens fared. Have 
everybody's doing okay. Everybody's still alive anyway. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get fresh food and water for these two. Hi, good morning girls. It's almost over. It's cold snap. Well you guys, we made it through the night. Zero degree weather. I got the rabbits back out. To have a little time, a little bit more space in their cages. I might take them in tonight because we're expecting more single digits. Hey, we made it. Homestead victory. Of course, I'm wondering how my bees are doing. I hope they're okay in there. And the other thing I'm wondering is, whose tracks are these? Can you guys see? The dog has not been in here. The kids have not been in here. Look at that. Yep. Following the track, it looks like it came right in here over this fence. Yep, I bet a bobcat visited at some point to get a chicken dinner. <laughs> Meanwhile, inside, let me show you what's growing. Tomatoes and peppers. Yay. And thank goodness I didn't have a chance to plant all my broccoli and cauliflower, so these can still go out in the garden for a good spring harvest. Yep, believe it or not, spring's around the corner.